The four new crime specialists are being heavily utilized in the Jays' daytime hit, and police were able to obtain substantial evidence from the crime scene and security surveillance. We are we are expecting a breakthrough before the week in this case, and we we are on the right track with these investigations. According to inside sources and a member of the Rigby family, Wilkie Arthur and Jaram Rigby, commonly known as Joey, both ex-convicts, are the two Turks and Caicos Islanders that have been held for five days now in relation to this crime. We've been reliably informed that um, these two individuals are Wilkie Arthur and Jaram Rigby. Can you confirm this information? The police would not be confirming or releasing the, the, the names of the two persons in custody at this time. So are you refuting this? I, we are not releasing the names of the two persons in custody. We are told that the two men, only identified by police as Turks and Caicos Islanders, were picked up while driving together in Kingston less than an hour after the crime on Saturday and had previously drove past the crime scene as other motorists did numerous times. They were apprehended at in Providenciales. Um, we are not saying the location where they were apprehended. Police have found no bullet shells and cannot confirm whether one of the two firearms was a 22 millimeter handgun. Yesterday, however, Director of Presidential Security Wilbur Jennings, who is disciplined in the area of weapon handling, described one of the two weapons as possibly a 9 millimeter firearm. And you can see one gentleman fumbling with it could be a 9 millimeter. And that could also tell that he hasn't had too much experience in handling weapons. With such bald-faced culprits executing robberies in broad daylight, the Grace Bay Police Station at Salt Mills Plaza just across the street from Jay's, which was promised since last year, may have been valuable. So you can't just say that uh, uh, being a police station being in a location, when an incident happens, that the, the response time can be quicker. Yes, it can be, but it, you have to look at it is in terms of where the resources are at the time. The, suppose the report, the units are dealing with other reports, then it, it, that, that is something that you have to look at. News 4 found that this is the second robbery involving a female in less than two weeks. The first was at Taylor's Beach in Chalk Sound last week Monday, where a visiting family was robbed by two assailants. For WIV4 News, I'm Nakira John.